in the better. <laughs> There's a gnome over there. They waved. So continue the tradition of really weird light and really weird hair. And the fact that I'm not wearing glasses because I just woke up. Today is the day we're playing D&D today. It's very exciting. We're, hey, we're, we, we're not very awake because we had con yesterday. Uh, we were at EgoCon, which of course I took no footage of because why would I take footage of a con I'm at? This is the thing I'm still trying to figure out. I just always forget to do it. It's not like it's not exciting or anything. Uh, do you have a theory on why I don't remember to do the thing? You're too busy talking to people. Oh. So, a logical reason. But, EgoCon, uh, the, the, the tiny woman who runs it and who has been running it since God was a child because this woman is tiny and ancient. She is like OG fandom grandmom here. You know that people get off her lawn. It's great. She somehow convinced World Builders which is a really amazing charity that does like dir direct action charity work with like Heifer International and things like that. So if you have money, give them money. Convince them or something. Actually, also, the the like little like informational thing of it had Patrick Rothfuss holding a goat in it, which it, that alone that is a morph being unhappy. That alone was worth the price of admission because Patrick Rothfuss strangely lives in Stevens Point, back ass woods of Wisconsin. Let's live in strange places. But they donated deck builder toolkit magic origin boxes. Okay, now, and that, that, that sounds like, you know, it's going to be a little thing, which, yeah, or like a big thing, but not much in it. Thing looks like this. Listen to that. That's a lot of stuff, right? I, it's like, surely, surely, this is not going to, to be a thing. I, I'm talking about this because I didn't look at it yesterday, and for some reason when Gnome looked at it, it didn't even occur to me how much they were taking out of the box. Look at all this. That is basically four uh, deck builder decks and four boosters. A Magic Origins, a Fate Reforged, a Dragons of Tarak, or Tark here, excuse me. <laughs> I, I, I'm trying to say Tarask, not Tar... Mm, confusing my things. And a journey into Nyx. And I'm assuming, because of that, the deck builders are going to also be reflective of these boosters. This is a lot of stuff for basically what... EgoCon's like a $20 ticket. My table was 30 even if I had made no money yesterday, and I actually did really well for a one-day con that isn't really known for being vendor-heavy, this would have basically paid for my table, like, in financial trade. This is ridiculous. Anybody who plays Magic is, go is going, oh my god, what the hell right now. A and I should put in here, this is not remotely sponsored other than the fact that I was at EgoCon yesterday and had a table there. So, yeah. Have not opened the things yet, but I thought I would share with you all because, wow. All right, I'm going to do things like put on a clean shirt for the people who are coming over to play D&D &D and get my D&D uh, &D stuff together because, well, it's kind of together, but I should get my stuff together. <laughs> Got, got to touch my new dice inappropriately because I got new dice. Actually, while we're here, I'm going to show you my new dice because I am that kind of nerd. I got an entire set of this, like, amazing, obnoxious orange because for those of you who do not know, orange is my favorite color. I know that's strange, right? And these really amazing kind of turquoise and coppery colored ones which of course the thing is not going to focus on because why would it 
I am so much more important than the dice I'm talking about. But they are beautiful, and I am excited, and they were inexpensive, and I got them at PlatCon when I was there last weekend. Because, yeah, why not? <laughs> I also got myself a little dice jail. Because dice. Dice need to be intimidated and punished. Intimidated and punished. Alrighty. I should, oh, I should also tell you, because this is a thing that was very important to me and very exciting. Because it was only released as a San Diego Comic Con, like, exclusive Funko, because there was a Funko merchant, because those exist in the con circuit. And he had a lot of kind of strange ones. My gentle, soft son from, from Rogue One. Now if I could just find Churret, I would have everybody I need. Look at my soft son. Okay. I have things to do. I have people to see. I have cats to, you know, chase with things and keep them from yelling at each other. Alright. I will talk to you sometime. Thing. I... Because this is going to be part of my vlog? I don't know. We, we'll, we'll find out. But if, if it ends up being its own thing, do good, be kind, be brave, and courage.